Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite type of cookware, cast iron. I've been cooking with cast iron pots and pans for many years, and they're built to last pretty much forever. I'm going to show you a couple of Lodge cast iron pans. Now Lodge has been around since 1896 and is made in America. This is the Lodge 3 quarter deep skillet, and this is the 10 and a quarter inch shallow skillet, and they're sold as a set. The shallow skillet can be used as a cover when you're cooking something in the deep skillet. They're both pre-seasoned, which means Lodge already sprays them with vegetable oil, and they're ready to use. It doesn't mean that it's completely non-stick, you just need a bit of oil for cooking. Over time though, the pans really do become more non-stick. Both skillets are heavy and retain heat really well. Make sure to use pot holders because the handles will get very hot. I like the helper handle on the other side of the skillets because it's very easy to pick up using both hands. And this handle is also good for hanging the pot in your kitchen. Just make sure you're hanging it on something very secure because the pots are heavy. I use these skillets most often to make fried or scrambled eggs. Dutch apple pancakes in the oven, hash browns, sauteed chicken, peppers and onions for fajitas, or make pork chops with mushroom gravy, and even blackened fish. Anything you put in these skillets will brown beautifully. You can sear steak or make burgers, and even make bread from scratch in the oven. If you reverse the pan, you can use it as a pizza stone for homemade pizza in the oven. The deep skillet I use to fry chicken once in a while, and the chicken turns out less greasy, because once the oil gets hot, it stays hot, because the pan retains heat. I've also made stews in this, because it's deep and holds quite a bit of food. Another convenient feature of cast iron is that you could serve the food right out of the pot, since it will stay hot for a long time. And you don't have to worry about reheating the food if your family is late for a meal. Dessert is another great use for these pans. You can make pineapple upside down cake, fruit cobbler, cornbread, and even cinnamon rolls. Caring for these pans is not as hard as you might expect. After you finish cooking, clean the pot with a brush or scrubber and hot water. Dry immediately with a cloth and rub a thin layer of oil all over. If you forgot to wash the skillet after cooking and food has crushed it onto the pot, boil some water in it. You can then use a brush to get all the stuck on food off. If you've forgotten this pan in your oven for a long time and it has rust on it, scrub it off and wash with hot water. Rub a little oil over the entire surface of the pan, inside and outside. Place a piece of foil on the bottom rack of your oven and place this pan upside down on the middle rack of your oven. Bake at 350 degrees for one hour and let it cool in the oven. That process is called seasoning. Oh, and by the way, these pans cannot be washed in the dishwasher. I can't forget about my 10 and a half inch round griddle. This I use mostly for toast, pancakes, grilled cheese or any hot sandwich, and heating up wraps for fajitas. It stays on my stovetop because I use it just about every day. Overall, cast iron pans are a great value. You can use them all through the day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even dessert. And they'll last you a lifetime. Please subscribe for more reviews and thanks for watching.